Just talk about them, Dread. Welcome to the channel. Now, there's a special item on this game called the All Seeing Eye. It's a very difficult item to get because it involves a lot of quests. So, I'm just going to show you the area where to get it from and how to complete it. So, what you want to do is re roll Lossom until you get the Marrow Parish story arc, and you want to run through and keep going through the fog doors with the exclamation marks above them until we find the areas we're after. So the first area we've hit here is the clock tower. There's three areas you can hit. It's the clock tower, the children's home, or the duchess. I forgot the name of her. The one who rides around on the horse. Well, we found the clock tower. So now there's one more place we can check. And if not, it's going to be a re-roll. So we just make our way through the asylum. We cane, ripsaw. We head towards the attic. And we want to go to Nim Yue's retreat because she's going to teleport us to the Forsaken quarter and at that area is where we'll either find out if we've got the children's home or not and that's the area we want if we do not get the children's home we're re-rolling so forsaken quarter just make your way through right so it turns out when i come to the forsaken quarter I had the children's home. Now, what you have to do is a little side quest because she won't talk to you inside. She talks to you through the children. So you have to find two of her children, one floating around the map. And they won't speak to you unless there's no enemies around them. So you find them, you kill the enemies around them, but they'll keep running until you clear them off. So it's a bit challenging, but basically clear the map. Once you've done that, head back towards the children's home and now you'll be spoken to. And that's the first objective, right? This is the objective you're after. This is the one that gives you the all seeing eye. There's a quilt in front of that, and as you can see, mine's all filled out. And these and the guide right here. If you complete all these events, you'll get it done. So you want to kill the um, do the postulant puzzle. That's the uh, checkers puzzle. Kill the night weaver. Collect the amulet from Harvester's Reach. Kill the bloke king, who's in the great sewers. Defeat the forest, the feast event, that's the fat bloke who you have to eat the meat round. Kill the red prince and finally do the burning man event. I don't know if you have to do the one where you either save his life or you let him burn. So if you complete all 12 of them objectives and come back to this point here, she'll give you the all seeing eye. Like I said, it's a very hard thing to do because there's so many quests. You have to, there's a load of re-rolls and yeah. So the all seeing eye goes like this grant a random buff or debuff so it can give you something good or something bad now you want to just put it onto your quick slot as i was trying to do here and i was messing about but if you can put it onto your quick slot and just use it now and again and if it gives you a buff you're laughing but on this one when i show you it gives me a terrible terrible buff So as you can see, this buff here has given me, yeah, results in a hundred increase to damage taken. So basically, I'm one shotting, right? So if you find it helpful, drop me a like, subscribe, comment. Most of these quests that you need to complete are on my channel. So check a few of them out, and yeah, peace.